Hey what's going on guys my name is Panda and today I'm going to be showing you guys the advanced tutorial on how to make a mini battle royale map. Before I start this tutorial I just want to let y'all know that I went and created a second channel here on YouTube and I've actually already uploaded a video but in the future I'm going to be creating all sorts of content over there that wouldn't normally go on this channel. You can find that either in the description of this video or by going to my YouTube channel homepage on the right hand side. It would be much appreciated if you guys could go check that out and subscribe. Anyways, now on to the tutorial. Number one, creating a two storm zone. In a mini battle royale map, the most common thing you will always see is a storm for obvious reasons. Most people create their maps with a storm by throwing down a basic storm controller, adjusting the settings, but just leaving it at that. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how you can create a two storm zone or even go past that and really make a 10 storm zone if you really wanted to. First, you're going to go set up your original basic storm controller with whatever settings you want. If you need help setting up a good first storm, you can refer back to my how to create a mini battle royale map video I posted last week. After you have your first storm set up, you're going to want to place another basic storm controller right next to or on top of your first controller. The crucial part is you want to set these values just like this. Initial radius, you want something on the lower part of the scale like 50 or less. End radius, you want to set to zero. Wait time, you want to set to the lowest value possible of five seconds. Resize time, you can choose any anything but I recommend one minute or less. Delay time is the main setting you want to use. Set this value to the sum of your wait time and resize time. So for example if your wait time is two minutes on your first storm controller and your resize time is two minutes on your first storm controller you want to make your delay time four minutes on your second storm controller. For damage I just recommend anything higher than your first storm controller. Number two creating randomized inventories. If you want to spice up your early game with some different items you can set some randomized inventories for your players to have an item or two at the beginning of the game that might help them later on. Your first order of business would be creating an area either out of the map or under the map by using the indestructible gallery in your gallery menu. This can be as big or small as you want, but you need to make sure you have enough area for all your inventory pads. Once you place your desired amount of pads, you're going to want to change each pad to a specific team number 1 through 16. After that, you want to place an item in each and every pad. I recommend only putting one item in each spawn pad so your players are not too stacked at the very beginning. After all your pads are finished with their team settings, you're going to want to go into your game settings and switch the team rotation settings to either switch teams every round or switch teams every other round. I recommend the first one as this gives players a different item each time. Number three, advanced game settings. If you haven't had the chance to go through some of the game settings inside of Fortnite's creative mode, you'd actually be pretty surprised at how much you can actually do to change the game's mechanics. I'll be going over some of the main settings that you can change to improve your mini battle royale map. Time of day. You can set this to whatever you want, but if you're like me and you don't enjoy the nighttime setting games inside of Fortnite, you can switch this time to noon so you get the maximum amount of daylight. For your starting shields, if you want your players to have a little head start in the game just in case luck is not on their side, you're able to give your players a little bit of shield if you want. I recommend setting this to 50% shields because then it's not too overpowered at the beginning of the game. For infinite resources, if you want your map to really feel like a true battle royale, make sure you turn this off and that kind of leads us right into the maximum building resources. You can set this to whatever you want. You can set it to 999 just like a normal match, but if you want it to be like an arena style game, you can set this to 500. For all these next settings, health granted on elimination, wood granted on elimination, stone granted on elimination, and metal granted on elimination, you can set these all to 50 if you really want to simulate an arena game. Hopefully this video helped you with some advanced mechanics in your mini battle royale map. I just want to thank anyone that has recently subscribed to the channel. The support has been absolutely insane recently, and I have a ton of new videos in store for you guys. Anyways, it looks like that's going to be it for today. My name is Panda, and I'll see you guys in the next video.